so this is the boxford machine and it has to be connected to an air compressor for the operations to take place so the air compressor must be connected and here we have the option to control manually so this button is to enable manual control it will light up red when it is enabled so manual control we can adjust home the axis this is for changing the tools this is for removing the tool from the head this is there to rotate the tool clockwise to rotate the tool anti-clockwise to move the work table up down so this is moving down moving up we can also move in the positive x negative x so the x axis is this way and the y axis is forward and backward and we can place the tools in the tool holder according to the code that we are building so let's open the boxford cat cam design tool software so once the software is open you can see some of these options are not available so we just need to go to settings the user change it to administrator there is no password we just need to click ok so administrator mode is enabled now what we can do is we can either start our own file we can give it any name we can save this file let's say as test1 so in this option we can go to the setup tab and go to workpiece and here you can mention what is the size of your workpiece so how much is the workpiece in x axis and how much is it in y typically we have it as 50 mm and 50 mm click on ok and this is the place that you have for doing the design that you want so over here you can type everything directly so you just need to select the abc tool over there click anywhere that you wish to place the tool or place the text so i'm going to write the letter y in here okay then i'll just drag it to the center So that is the letter Y. You can go to property settings. If you want to change the type of font you are using or if you want to select the color, we can define it as black, red, anything. We'll see later why do we need to mention the color. Fill as well. And if you go to line, you can mention the thickness. So this thickness will help us to uh, mention the thickness of the letter that we are putting. So let's put it as 3mm for example or 4. Click on OK. And you will see that it has become a bit wider. So we will drag this to make it bigger. Okay, so that is the letter Y. If you want, we can draw any circle, line, uh, shapes like square, and so on. Two mil, and you can choose the type of 
material that you are going to work with. We are working with acrylic, so which is close to plastic. So you can select that. There is the edging tool and area tool. Edging tool is for the final finish around the letter and area tool is to do the letter itself. So that is tool number 2 which is 2mm and tool number 4 which is 4mm. Uh, de depth we can mention by selecting the color. So since the letter Y was in black color, I will mention the depth to be 2mm. And this is to mention the dimensions of the block. So it is 50 by 50 and the height was 30. Click on process. Yes. Save it. And it automatically shows you a simulation and it has generated a code above. So let's just watch the simulation in the software. I'll reduce the speed so that we can see it clearly. Click on play. So you can see this is how the tool is going to do the job. That's it. So you can see the feed rate is mentioned here, the speed uh, of the spindle and the tool number and the line of the code and what are the codes. So let's exit this view and there is an option to view the G code. So this is the code for this particular program. So you will see that the uh, letter Y, it, ha it is not a straight line. So you have to have two curved lines. So the code looks a bit uh, difficult to interpret in the beginning. So the software does it for you in this case. You don't need to type the G code. The software will do it by itself. Now if you want, you can go back and edit the code. You can go line by line, you can change whatever you feel like changing. So let's say you want to change the speed of the spindle, you can change it here. We can mention it as 2000. So accordingly it will change. Then we go back, we can mention the feed rate. F is the feed rate f here so we can mention this to be 200 instead of 300 so they will say do you want to re-simulate it will show again we can play from the beginning it's almost the same the view but just the speed and the feed can be adjusted and also the code so the code part you will learn in the code lecture so from there you should know how to do the coding but this is just a demo to show how to use the software program change yes so once this is done we can go to the machine and start to manufacture so i have already made a predefined program so now let's give the command uh, start manufacture, select start at first tool, auto home the axis, so you will see the axis is being set in the machine, select the active clamp, you have to select wise option, enter the height from the machine table, the height was measured to be 40 mm. So that's the height from the top of the workpiece to the machine table. So once this is done, we have to press the cycle start button either on the machine or there is a button on the software itself which you can use. So once you press that, the machine will try to choose the right tool for the operation. So it has now chosen a 4mm drill bit. And this is how it has to be before it starts the operation. Now once you are sure of the location, you can press the cycle start button and it will start the uh, shape. <laughs> is done.
it will change to the second tool to do the outline. Again, it's changing to the second tool. Which is a 2mm diamond. And then in order to open, we just press this blue button and lift this up and pull up the handlebar. So I'm just going to do it. And here is our piece. The Y shape has come properly. You can see it. Well, the border has some material stuck inside it. This is because the tool was too thin and the material was melting. So you need to adjust the feet in order to get a better finish for the other tool. But for the 4mm tool it was fine and the machine has done a perfect job. So let's see how we can input our own G code. Go to settings as usual and make it the administrator. And we can start doing a new G code. So let's name it experiment 5. We have to mention the type of material. Let's say it's plastic. The x axis is 50, y axis is 50, and the z is 30. So the block is ready, and we can do the coding over here. So this is the first line of code, we can continue by typing let's say G00 and we can continue the next one G01 and so on, M03 let's say. So when you are doing M03 we need to mention a spindle speed, let's say 2000 and also in order to do G01 the program wants that we need to give a feed rate as well. So let's put it as 150 so that should be fine we go to the next line and we continue the code 